not the country, if not the world, but I struggled in high school. I did not have but one teacher I felt cared about my education. I had one teacher who had a strong personality, strong as being the subjective word I would use. She would always complain about her three dollars $30,000 salary. It wasn't enough, apparently. I mean, when you think about it, $30,000, that's above the poverty line, of course, for one adult. But not for her. She would always complain. Only $30,000. Well, when you look at it, this is what $30,000 can get you. If you're one adult, you're fine. You've got $9,000 left. You could buy whatever you want. You could buy a motorboat. But if you happen to have one child, you're screwed. You're in debt by $14,000 for one child. How can you live with that? How can a teacher focus on her life when she can't even feed her own kids? Now, this teacher just happened to be the same teacher that had one out of every five students fail their state exam. I guess she could afford one of these to meet ends meet. But is that really good enough? I thought that there was just this chance happening. It's been in recent headlines, of course, but I never thought much of it until I started my own research. This research I gathered from eight schools in North Carolina. All the discrepancies were minimal. Same enrollment total, minority enrollment, disadvantaged enrollment. The only difference was teacher salary. And as you can tell by the data, where teachers have higher salary, they tend to have more students at or above the grade level for state testing. There was another study by a Dr. Gregory, Gregory A. Gilton. He surveyed 500 school districts in Pennsylvania. And his studies were accurate to 87%. They showed that a teacher will go to a school that pays more if she, can, if she can provide higher test scores. Problem with this is that, of course, teachers that aren't paid enough will go to other schools. I had another teacher, Noelle Bethea, excellent student, excellent teacher. She did everything she could for her classroom. She quit. Why did she quit? Why did one of the only teachers I knew that could do her job right quit? Because Elizabeth City Pasquant Public Schools could not pay her a livable wage. What's the point of working? Samuel Taylor Coolers, he wrote this poem and he said, work without hope draws nectar in a sieve. And hope without an object cannot live. It cannot live. What's, why would I want to live in a shack? What future does my nephew have if he cannot go to a school where he can get a decent education? Education is the foundation, and it's like a building. It doesn't matter whether it's a Gothic cathedral, a federal-style lecture hall. If you do not have a good foundation, even the greatest of buildings will crumble, they will fall, and my nephew won't have a future that has a value, and it makes me sick.